Hello all my angry nerds, this is Fanboy and welcome to your daily dose of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today's game is going to be kind of special. Let me introduce the players to you really quickly. In the bottom of the left hand corner of Dust Tower you have the good old Halt. Yes, he's been around forever, he is a Terran, and he is blue in this game. His opponent today is going to be none other than the legendary Snoot. He is a Zerg and he is in the red trunks and he is in the top right hand position of Dust Tower. Today's game is going to be very, very interesting. Let's just say that one. Um, I watched a little bit of this game before I casted it and I immediately was like, I'm about three minutes into this game and I truly, truly love this game. So I'm going to cast it. So it looks like Snoot is going for his expansion relatively quickly. Not uncommon. He did just start gas. I'm assuming this drone is going to be for a pull. And there you go. Pull's on the way for Snoot. What is Polt up to? Polt is building a barracks at the moment. And... He does have gas going, so I'm assuming it's going to be for a really quick reactor or a uh, Reaper. I almost, I kind of forgot the name of that unit for some strange reason. But it looks like Pole is going for a Reaper, Reaper opening. I don't know if he, yes he is, he's going to expand out, out of this and most likely add on tech after after the uh, Reaper comes out. So this is going to be kind of interesting. We have... Oh, crap. Wrong thing. I followed the uh, Destructible Tree <laughs> accidentally. I thought I had the Reaper selected. But it looks like... What does Snoot have to defend this. He has a couple wings. He has speed coming, but his queens are not here quite yet. So we're going to see how many kills this Reaper can get before he uh, has to leave the base. Can he get, ooh, he gets a lone Zergling. Is chased off by a queen. That queen is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It needs to be kind of careful. Uh, there are only three lings here, uh, another queen is at the expansion, so I just don't think there's going to be a whole lot of damage this, uh, Reaper can do. So he's just going to poke back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Meanwhile, in Pult's base, he is going for, it looks like a 1-1-1 with another command center. I've casted so many, like, TVTs and TVZs and TVPs that it seems like today it's like we're gonna get a command center and then we're gonna go for a, possibly a factory and then right into another command center. So to have three command centers right off the bat is not unusual. So let's see what this Reaper is up to. This Reaper is being very slowly chased around by a bunch of flames. Is almost dead. Only has eight HP left. Can he, no, it cannot get away. As I was just uttering those words, he is kind of dead. You have another hatchery for Snoop. So I'm, yeah, he's going into a lair. It looks like this could be for a lot of things. It could be for investors. It could be for mutas. It could be for a lot of things. He does have a Roach Warrant on the way, so Roach Warrant into what exactly? Uh, if I could take a guess, it would be into Mutas or into, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Infestors. There you go. So right now, Pult and Snoot are kind of like, okay, let's just mech her up together. And turn this game into somewhat of a macro game and not a micro game. One tank here only has one kill. Uh, the Widow Mine does have a reactor coming down on it so I'm assuming it's going to be for 
Wittemines or Hellions um, is the most logical choice. Oh, wow! Hope is being somewhat boldy, and the uh, Overlord is on it. Oh, the Overlord does see the command lifted off command center, so Snoot does know that Holt has expanded to a third base. So, Holt's probably saying, okay, I need to get a fourth started eventually here. Relatively shortly. And the problem with a third or a fourth on this map is it's kind of... Well, you normally take this as a fourth. You can take this as a fourth, and I think that's what Snoot is doing. Snoot, yeah, Snoot is taking this as a fourth. It is harder to expand, or harder to, eh, harder to defend, because it has a ramp here, it has a ginormous ramp here, and another ramp here. Ooh! Banshee, Banshee is out. Do we have Cloak on the way? Yes, we do have Cloak on the way, I missed that completely. So, the Banshee is going after Creep Tumor. Creep Tumors? Yeah. So it's down the Creep to the back. And instead of going after Jones, he's going after there is an overseer here that Snoot is not stupid. We see a banshee most likely close to the is already done or is about to be done. There are two banshees here and Cloak is uh, finished actually. Cloak is finished so we're gonna we're gonna see those banshees don't want to be flying over there. Do I, they do activate their invisibility so Hopefully they can get something done here. Let's see how much how many drones can kill. But it looks like one banshee just got bungled to death. So that's a thing. Uh infestors are out. That banshee does get one infestor before it dies via fungal. So if we look real quickly, it's two he only got two workers, so that's not horrible. Worker supply is 65 to 80, so, or 82, so, I mean, that's not terrible either. So, yeah, we're pretty much at a, kind of a draw. It looks like Pulp wants to move out and see what he can do with this, to this, uh, fourth base of Snoop. Snoop does have Ravagers, they're very good at being filed, basically just, uh, explosive bio is extremely good on pumped up units, especially if they are bungled. And right now they are very, very bungled. The investors are kind of getting caught in the melee, that's never good. Uh, Widow Mines are here. They're not, that one's in a good location, that one's not so much in a good location. But what Snoop wants to do is Snoop wants to hold this fourth as long as humanly possible and possibly even drive Holt away. Uh, this replay comes out of W or group WW3. I've never heard of it, but it I think is a tournament of some sort. I'm assuming put on by Root Gaming. Uh, if you guys know a little bit more about that, please leave it down in the comment section because I have no idea. I've never heard of it. Uh, it looks like Snoot's troop coverage is kind of suffering right now. But he is being attacked by a bunch of Marine and Marauder. And as you can see... Oh wow! Snoot, or not Snoot, Pult is taking a fourth. So there has to be something going on. And it looks like Pult decided just to weave around this whole little... I don't know, full defense of this one tank is paying for itself, truly. Is utterly paying for itself. I don't know what those explosive bios were, but, you know what, whatever. But more Widow Mines are up on the ramp. I'm assuming what Colt wants to do is try to engage here, like, right here as the workers come over. And get two investors, does get two investors. Widowmines do go off on a bunch of roaches, we're on a couple roaches, but this uh, marine, marine bio ball is kind of in trouble. The Metamax are 
almost completely out of energy. And uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like Snoop Hulk held that one off quite well. This, uh, zoom back out. I do like this uh, zoomed out mode, if you can't tell. It gives me a lot more room to see. Bunch of roaches do come out. He is lost. These things are a vital use for the most part. Doesn't want to get uh, caught in his own explosive bio because they do cause uh, splash damage, really. But really, all Snoop has right now is just lurkers and queens. Does have a couple of roaches that just popped out and three festers. That's not a whole lot with just this stream of blue that you can see on the minivan just coming over the Marine Marauder. And that's a really, really nice concave. The concave is real and the roaches are just being annihilated. And so are the Ravengers. The Ravengers are just, 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 just completely and utterly dry. But it looks like Snoop is defending this quite nicely. And Liberators are here. So, the only problem is the Liberators uh, only cover part of the ramp, but it looks like Colt wants to lure them right into the Liberator feed, and he is obliged to do so. All you have left right now are four Ravagers and a couple of very, very dead roaches. So it looks like the Ravagers are dead. A nice bungle. Most of that was whipped. But this fourth base is pretty much dead for right now. A bunch of. Uh, well, not really. A bunch of the Susitarians do come out, but the Little Minefield kind of takes care of that. But it looks like Snoop is on his last legs for the most part. Has a couple more roaches left, and the roaches are gonna die because, well, Snoop just called GG well played. Pult is your winner there, and that was actually quite an exciting game. Um, I'm kind of speechless, really, to tell you the truth, because Pult is a master among masters. He is, he's a, he's, he's, He's good. So is Snoot. Snoot has been around forever. So is Polt. Polt has been around forever. Uh, when I started watching StarCraft 2 again professionally, or watching professional players, it was uh, faces like Bomber, Polt, Snoot, Minigun, um, Cats, those type of players that I loved watching because they were just so fun. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys in the next game. Bye for now.